This is the second last session we are going to have before the final session in which you'll be having your feedbacks and all these things, you know. And this will be our active last session also in which I will be involved personally. Okay? With all the experiences that you have had so far, you have gone through our various sessions um, before over the last two weeks. We're going to have a real mock-up situation, a real mock situation actually, which is happening inside an airport terminal. So my dear students, why we chose this activity to be played or to be performed, to be exhibited during our fundamental course of EnglishDriver.com is thinking that only with that intention for making you confident in facing different situations happening inside an airport. As all of you know, today or tomorrow, all of us have to be flying to any of the destinations around the globe, at least to an airport, to a destination, to a place, to a city, to a country, at least in the Middle East. Most of us are job aspirants or Gulf aspirants, I would say. We all are ambitious of working in the Middle East as we got some real good connections with those kind of um, um, countries. I think at least one member from your house, each of your house, will have one person working in any Arab country right now. So maybe next year or maybe after two years or within a short of uh, maybe within three or four months, you will be taking a flight <clears throat> just for a visit, or just for uh, a casual trip or a serious trip in which you'll be trying to get your dream job. <clears throat> so my dear students, I'm a bit um, um, suffering uh, with my sound even though I think it will come up during our class okay so before going to the things I'm giving you a small picture about the activity suppose you are going to have your first flight journey in your life to a foreign country you might have taken flights to other destinations in your, in your own country or in your state. Maybe to Cochin or to Vandrum or outside the state, maybe to Chennai or Bangalore. But it, will be your, it is your first journey, you guess. You have an assumption that you make everything visualized in your mind so that we did in our last activity. You, do you remember that? We had uh, some group activities, mock situations in which you came as a team of two members. Okay? The same thing, you know, you have to visualize everything in your mind so that you are on a journey, you're a traveler, you're a passenger to a foreign country and this is your maiden trip to a foreign country in your life. Okay? So your, your relatives, your parents, uh, your, and, uh, your friends will be accompanying you to the airport. Starting from the moment you are getting off the car, okay? You are being sent off inside the terminal or you are giving fare, farewell or if you are once your friends are giving you farewell, and they are sending off you to the terminal, you know, there we start our activity. I think you're understanding me. Okay? From the moment where you are just 
saying goodbye to your friends and relatives, then we start. Okay? You are entering the terminal. There will be a security personnel. There will be security personnel waiting for you. Okay? You are showing your passport and ticket to them. After that, you are entering the terminal. There will be a scanner. Scanning machine in which you have to put your luggage and hand baggage even for scanning. Okay? From there, after the scanning of your luggage and your personal properties, you are going to the particular counter of your airline, of your carrier, of your carrier, okay? No carrier, carrier. What is the difference between carrier and carrier? C-A-R-E-E-R -E -E is pronounced as carrier and C-A-R-R-I-E-R -E -E is carrier. Carrier is the flight or the ship or the bus on which you are traveling. Okay? So you can see on the tracks, goods carrier. Okay? Because those are carrying goods. So your carrier is your flight. So you'll be going to get your boarding pass from the corresponding counter. Okay? Maybe you're flying by Emirates or Air India or Oman Air or Gulf Air or Bahrain Airways or Cathay Pacific, you know, or Air India or Indian Airlines, you know, or maybe Tihad or Air Arabia. <coughs> I don't care which you choose, you know. So you're going to the corresponding counter, okay? Maybe there'll be a queue. There'll be a big queue. You'll be uh, aligning or you'll be joining the queue. You'll have to queue up. And when your turn comes, there is a passenger assistant at the counter, okay? The passenger assistant takes your passport and ticket and they check it. He checks it or he, she checks it actually. And she's asking how much luggage you have. And you have to put your luggage on the, the, this uh, weighing, uh, you know, there's a platform on which you have to put your luggage so that it will be weighed. And you can see on the screen how much kilos are there how, or what will be the weight of your luggage okay and you gave them the luggage and they will be taking it and it will be sent to the flight at the same time they will give you um, um, I'm sorry what is that um, um, I don't get that the term for that you know uh, um, what is that um, they're not strap actually there is um, there is something you should not put your handbag to the luggage you can carry those things with you even laptop you can carry you can have a hand baggage with you okay and you will have um, um, a tie or uh, uh, you have to have uh, shit I don't get it anyway uh, you'll be getting um, a small card like you know and you can put on that huh? strap. I don't get the term. I will tell you. And after getting your boarding pass, you have to check your ticket. Okay? And they'll be given uh, an immigration form, actually, which you have to fill it up. You have to give full information about you, your name, your address, your father's name, your permanent address, your corresponding address, your working details, your passport details, everything, okay? And your port of destination and port of embarkation also. Port of embarkation I will tell you and port of destination also I will tell you. These are the terms by which a lot many people are getting confused inside the airport. And that is why a lot many people who are flying to other destinations, they are seeking the help of other people. I have seen so many people coming to me asking to fill, asking to help them to fill this form because they don't know port of embarkation, port of destination, they don't know. There comes the lack of English skills, the lack of English knowledge. And to compensate those kind of things, we are doing this activity. Englishdriver.com doing this activity, what we think, you know, actually if for any person any common man if they are going to have their first flight to a destination in the Middle East or any part of the world if they 
see or if they are part of EnglishDriver.com course, they can easily get the confidence that they can come to know each and everything happening in an airport and they can go freely as a free bird actually and that is our intention I think you're understanding me yes to help them to help them go without any fear without any problems we are giving this activity as part of our course okay so from uh, there you know from that point where you're filling up your immigration you will have to take your seat you will have to wait uh, at the terminal for your uh, announcement for security check no before security check there comes immigration immigration and customs okay immigration and customs mean first there is an immigration immigration check 